the strategies of how you um, discovered the film you were going to make about Roman and about Bernard Tappy, if you'd like to. Um, what was the what was the inciting incident that brought you to this Roman Polanski story? Well, let me say that I never thought I could find a character as good as Bernard Tappy. Seriously, it was that was it. I mean. Um, and it took me about two years to find, I saw, I happened to be in Los Angeles, I wasn't living here, there was an article in the LA Times about whether Polanski would be able to come back if uh, the pianist was nominated. And it was like, oh, I remember this story. And it just, I mean, to me, that's already like a sign. Oh, I'm here, oh, there's this article. Oh, this is interesting, oh, I remember him, hmm. Then it turned out that I talk about when you know you have a film, I ended up knowing uh, someone who knew the Mormon DA and who knew Polanski's godson. It's just there are these little signs and you're like, oh my God, I have to follow this. When I was making the Polanski follow up, um, imagine, imagine that while he was in jail the whole time we were editing and then he got out. <laughs> imagine what it felt like to go to the office that day. It was like our whole world had been turned upside down. And then the instinct immediately is to like, get it out, get it out, get it out. But we didn't have the money, so we couldn't. But what has been so interesting is seeing how much better it was to wait. Because you could tell a better story when you have more perspective on it. And it's just kind of food for thought. 